Hey everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video and in today's video we're jumping into another operator guide and this week we're obviously going to be doing lesion as you guys can probably tell by the title and thumbnail. So yeah, this week we're going to be diving into Legion, we're going to go be going over him. I know the voting system on the last video did not work, that's why I picked Legion myself. I'm not sure why I put a card in, but it just didn't work, so I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again. But if it does, make sure to let me know down below, because I need to know if my computer's bugging up, the cards are bugging up, I'm not really sure what's going on. So yeah, I did pick Legion just because I already had some clips laying around, and I guess that kind of takes a little bit of work off me so I kind of made it easy for myself so I just put that together and now we're diving into the lesion guide. So before we jump into this video we have to dive into who we're going to be doing next week and next week we're going to be doing Capcan, Gridlock or Knock and if it does work there should be a poll in the top right corner of your screen right about now and that is where you're going to be able to vote for who you want to see next week out of Capcan, Knock or Gridlock. And with, other than that without further ado let's dive into the lesion guide. So starting off, we are going to start with the weapon review, then we're going to move on to the gadget utilization, we're going to finish off with the operator strategies. So without further ado, we're going to dive into the weapon review. His first and primary weapon out of the two primaries he has access to is the T5 SMG, which does 28 damage on 900 rounds per minute. This weapon is incredibly solid, and honestly, it's 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 got a little bit of a low damage rate, obviously, but it still is really just consistent and pretty controlled. It has a pretty low recoil pattern, and it's very easy to control if you just put a little bit of practice into it. Obviously, as a being defender, terrorist hunts as a defender are a little bit weird, but you can always practice in casual, or you can do it in terrorist hunt. I'm not stopping you there. But yeah, the Legion's T5 is just a great all-around weapon in my opinion. The minimal recoil it has makes it very easy to hit headshots, which makes damage pretty much useless. But it is a little bit of a pea shooter if you think about it. But it can be made up for, obviously, if you just hit the head, which just is a little bit of crosshair placement and practice. But we're not really talking about that, we're talking about Legion. So just all in all, I'm going to be cut honest out of my opinion. I think it's a really solid weapon, and... I'd definitely bring it over the 612, but that was a little bit scrambled up, but anyway, let's move on. 612 SD, his other primary shotgun, the 12 gauge shotgun that has 35 rounds, and it is suppressed on default. It is semi-automatic, which means you can basically shoot it as fast as you can, and this shotgun is really solid. 35 damage does seem a little bit low for a shotgun, obviously, but obviously... It's just, I'm sure you, most of you guys have probably come up against this by now because a lot of lesions do like to use it for some stupid reason and it's just annoying to verse in my opinion. That thing will mow you down real quick because it shoots pretty significantly fast and it's very difficult to control and it does have a lot of rounds are capable in its magazine having six shots so this guy can dump six shots into you pretty quickly. Obviously in my opinion I would definitely recommend you guys bring the T5 but the 612 is definitely a good alternative if you feel like using a shotgun variant. And diving into his secondary, he only has access to one, which is the Q929 9mm semi-automatic pistol, which does 60 damage on a trigger finger fire rate. So you guys can really make use of this. It has 10 bullets in his magazine, which is a solid amount to finish off a kill if you do potato or you just feel like using your pistol. Can't really give any, any recommendations because he only has one pistol, but this is a solid pistol with 60 damage a shot, two hits will kill. Pistols are always high damaging like that, but they're just difficult to use over a primary weapon. And in terms of his equipment, he has access to a bulletproof camera and an impact. In my opinion, Legion is a support operator, so bringing that impact grenade will help you with rotations, and most people will bring that impact grenade. That's what I recommend to you guys. Bulletproofs are useful, but there's better alternatives, like just bringing a Valkyrie or something. Bulletproofs are just as vulnerable as a Valkyrie cam, to be honest. Obviously, bulletproofs can't get shot, but they are still very prone, and most of the time you're going to put them in a place where no one's defending, so it's just going to get hit anyway. So, I'll just bring a Valkyrie. And yeah, that's, that's his loadout, and let's move on to the gadget utilization. So, Legion has access to the Goo Mine gadget, which is a throwable device that recharges over time. You start off with one, and you slowly gather more and more the longer you survive through the round. He has a maximum quanti quantity of 8, and it does 4 damage per second once it's injected. It takes 30 seconds per. It takes 30 seconds to get a new Goo Mine, so obviously it does take a little bit to get these, but once you've accumulated them all, these can give you really good intel into pushing locations. Obviously, when you throw them, they go invisible. They can't be seen unless the attacker is actually looking on the ground. You can see them. Obviously, they highlight a little bit out if you just look at the ground closely, but most of the time, if it's a late-game situation, they're not going to be checking, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to slow them down because when a Gumon is in their foot, they cannot sprint, so it's going to disorient them really bad, and it comes up with a little green stuff on their screen, which kind of throws off their aim as well. So all in all, this gadget is very useful for slowing down a push, that's the main thing you should use, which is why I recommend you guys should play on site with Legion, but we'll dive into that later. But the best way to use this gadget, in my opinion, which is what we're meant to be talking about, is to put them around the site. 
I think Legion should be played as an anchoring operator. You could play a light roam as well, which is a roam close to the site. That would definitely work as well. There's nothing wrong with that. You guys can definitely do that. And yeah, you can utilize this very well, especially you can use it for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like goo mines can really be beneficial or more beneficial to bringing as a team device. So putting them in places where they're going to be pushing the site. So all of your team can get the intel because of the loud sound it makes when you hit them. And just all of that intel coming in so you know where they are pushing from. And along with this, it's going to slow them down, obviously. So using this effectively can really disadvantage a team. You can't plant when you have a goo mine in your foot either. You have to take the goo mine out, which can stitch up someone pushing in a very late round situation. While I'm sitting here describing all of this, it actually seems like this does a lot that can really benefit your team. And the goo mine is probably pretty underrated in my opinion. You don't, you don't see lesions too often. He does get banned a lot because he's very annoying to verse. But yeah, when there isn't a legion ban, majority of the time there's still he's still not picked. People just bring other people over the top of him. Honestly, he's he's pretty good. And when you list off all of his abilities, this gadget is actually really powerful. So yeah, my recommendation would be to put these around the site, try and use them as an advantage to gather intel around your around your objective and defend it well. And finally, we're going to be diving into the operator strategies. And the operator strategies is how I would recommend playing legion. And as I said before, I feel like he should be played as an anchor, but he can be a light roam as well. I wouldn't hard roam with Legion. He is a two-speed operator, so he's not. He's going to be making more noise and say your bandits, your vigils, and your calves. And he's also got a gadget that really should be utilized in sight, at least in my opinion. If you guys disagree, I'm happy to hear your opinions down below. But he he really just brings a versatile gadget that should be used on sight, in my opinion, which is why I think you should stay at least close to the site. If you're a roamer, you roam every round. I guess that's okay. Obviously, if you're not good at roaming, I'd recommend you change up your roles. Don't just play a roamer because it's fun. If you want to actually rank up, you need to you need to work with the team. But yeah, playing playing Legion, you should be around side at least. And utilizing this, that's how I think you should play him. So I'm going to talk about anchoring first. Anchoring, obviously, I've kind I've pretty much already been over this. But when you're on the site, anchoring down the site, use your lesions to put them in doorways and push and push points where people are going to be coming in to give you that intel that they are close to the door or they are wherever you put you remember where you put your goo mine hopefully and you know that they are around that area which gives you intel to where they might be pushing obviously they might rotate so maybe put two goo mines one right on the door and one deeper in the door so you know if someone's coming that way and you know if someone's actually pushing through that way that's the way you can kind of decipher your goo mines if you would like to just have a general vicinity you put them deeper behind the door but if you'd like to know if they're directly pushing I'd put them in just slightly inside the door or right on the door. But yeah, utilizing these goo mines on site can be very effective, and I definitely recommend you guys do this. This is my recommended way to play Legion as an anchor. And if you guys can play this properly and figure this out, you can be a real deadly threat in my opinion. I hate coming up against Legions. Obviously, with Legion, it's difficult to play him in a ranked game because he does get banned a lot. That is a problem. I understand that. But if he does happen to not get banned, you can utilize this very effectively, especially on maps like Clubhouse where there's a lot of entry points in the downstairs site where a Legion mine on every, on every point would really help you out in Intel. And if you are going to take him on a light roam, which honestly I wouldn't recommend, but if you guys do choose to roam, if you guys don't want to play the site, I guess the best way to play it would be to put them on all the flank points of the area you're holding, like hopefully close to site, and just put them all around and just try and utilize them to gather intel as well. The best way to use these mines is to gather intel around what, where the enemy is pushing you. So obviously you can use this on a roaming site if you are playing a stuck roam. If you're just legging it around, you shouldn't be playing Legion in my opinion. But if you're holding down a room, say you're watching a hatch room or something, if you put your goo mines on all of your entry points, that will help you gather intel and maybe give you a better chance of surviving, especially if you get pushed by multiple people. But in my opinion, that is just about everything about Legion. I tried to make this one a little bit shorter because all of my other guides have been pretty long. So I hope you guys still found this useful and I hope you guys still figured out how to play Legion or at least gained some knowledge on how to play Legion from this video. So with his very strong loadout, his really strong gadget and just his utilization he can bring to the anchoring side of defense, Legion is just a great, just a great all-around operator and I really recommend you guys pick him up if he's not banned. So without further ado, if you did make it to the end of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and a subscribe. That would really support my channel. We're on the road to 10k and liking it will make this more viewable for future people hopefully looking to play Legion. And also if you'd like to check out my Twitch channel, I stream there every day except for Saturday at 7.15pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. The link's down in the description. I like seeing all of you guys there. My streams have been doing really good lately and I appreciate all the new people stopping by so we can have more people to have a good time and other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace